get you home, Rogna the Blood Edge. Your kind are not meant for this place. <laughs> I see that snout of yours still works as good as ever. You're still here. Must I couch my request with smaller words? Or are you merely being obstinate? The latter. But the smaller words thing would be nice too. Hmm. <laughs> Get you home is merely an archaic way of saying, go home, you see? I know what it means! Not that I credit you with a cognitive verve to figure it out, but I'm rather busy at the moment. I've only twelve hours in which to prepare Milady's tea. Speaking of which, I acquired some top drawer tea leaves in Orient Town last week. I think I'll debut them today. Excellent! Now all I need is to find a suitable suite to complete the ensemble. Ye gods! A uh, problem? The horror! The horror! You're looking grim, even for you. Seriously, are you okay? How could I have made such a mistake? Damn it, now you're just pissing me off. I'm standing right here. I must resort to my trump card. My most abject apologies, Madam Rachel. I shall return in a thrice. Whoa! Hey, old man, wait up! Where the hell do you think you're... Yeah. <laughs> Don't run! No, 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 no! Ah, now... I told you not to run. Why have you followed me here? Like I had a friggin' choice. My hair got caught on your cravat somehow. Or is that an ascot? I always get them mixed up. I see. My accessories kidnapped you. Yeah, thus the whole don't run thing. So what's that thing next to you? What, that? I'm Tao. Tao? You finally noticed me, good guy! I've been standing behind you this whole time! And what the hell are you doing here? You were walking all over the place like in circles and holding some doohickey in your hand. I thought maybe you'd buy me some tasty food, so I tailed you! You've been watching me the whole time? Yuppers! Meow! Oh, jeez. What's wrong? You're as white as a goat. Don't say it because you know I hate those things and shut up because I'm fine. Oh, somebody's worried that Tao saw you being all lame, huh? All lame? No. Huh? No, that's... that's crazy talk. Nope, not worried. Then show Tao the doohickey in your pocket, good guy. Huh? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Take it out already or else meow! Behind you, good guy! Some creeper's reaching for your meat buns! Oh, God damn it, Jin! If you pinch my ass one more time! Yoinks! That's the oldest trick in the book, good guy! Ah, give it back, Tao! Give it back! Pray tell, what is it? It's a smartphone! Except this one's all crappy! The data plan's overpriced, and you can't make calls unless you hold it just so! And it doesn't get reception anywhere! I, 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 phone! The GPS isn't even set up right! Wait, you mean to tell me that somebody with a smartphone is still getting turned around, even in this day and age? Scandalous! <sighs> Somebody, good guy. Meow. Rogna the Blood Edge doesn't know how to use his phone. God damn it, old man! I know you're trying to hold back that laugh. A thousand pardons. I never expected you, of all people, to be technologically inept. No wonder you lingered when I tried to shoo you away from the castle. Poor good guy. He didn't have any idea where he was. I apologize for my behavior earlier. 
You are clearly a man to be pitied, not shooed. Stop grinning already! Shit, man. Sometimes you annoy me even worse than that stupid kid. You don't strike me as suicidal. So I'll assume you weren't speaking of Madam Rachel just now. Oh, but I was. Madam Rachel, a.k.a. Princess, a.k.a. Milady, a.k.a. Stupid Freaking Rabbit. I shall now oblige your death wish. You want to start something? Fine. Let me just turn off the phone first. And... Okay. Bring it! Stop that. Madam Rachel! Damn rabbit! Quiet! Or do you want to have to sip your meals through a straw? What did you say? <sighs> and people wonder why my tolerance for you is so low. Huh? Rabbit person, how come you're closing your eyes? Meow! This isn't a good napping spot! Yeah, what gives? <sighs> Ahem! Say something already! Silence! That wasn't very nice, dog person! Don't be a meanie to good guy! This cow's meal ticket! <laughs> you look like a salmon that got batted out of the air as it's making its way upstream. Shut the hell up! Ow! Damn it, old man, what the hell was that for? For daring to interrupt Madam Rachel's slumber. Slumber? That's right. The value of Milady's peaceful rest far exceeds that of your worthless life. Hold the phone. Are you trying to tell me that she's asleep right now? Her eyes are closed, but she's standing up and talking like normal awake people. Yeah, and that evil grin she's sporting doesn't seem very sleepy. Oh, how your mouth offends me at every turn, Vlogna. I'd cut it off if it weren't for the fact that I'd merely be giving you a bigger mouth in the process. You guys heard that, right? Ah, yes. She's talking in her sleep, as she is wont to do. Talking in her sleep? No! Are you retarded? Sleeping people can't say all that crap. I can't even say all that crap awake! That's why you'll never rise beyond your brutish station in life. A lady of true refinement can assess and comment on her surroundings at all times. Take Madame Rachel, for example, for she is the gold standard to which all damsels must aspire. Though her eyes are closed, she can peer into the past, present, and future alike, which is why she's never at a loss for words. Ho ho ho! Tao's heard of stuff like that! Professional sleep talkers can sleep talk at any moment in time! Meow! You pulled that out of your butt, Tao! And the rabbit's awake! Come on! <sighs> right on cue, rabbit! Tell me you didn't buy that, you guys! Shh! Quiet! <laughs> Quiet, I say! What are you going to do if she suddenly wakes up because you're hollering? I'm only hollering because you keep hitting me! Tao thinks we're safe! Uh, for now! Oh, that was close. Both of you follow me. Huh? What, like you're going to see yourself out? I think we established with a phone routine that you don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. Thus, I will escort you to the main gate. Walk this way. I don't have a stick up my butt like you do, but I'll give it a whirl. Pathetic. Excuse me? That whole exchange was pathetic. My butler trots out a pathetic joke that was old when he was a boy. And pathetic rectal humor is the wittiest repost you can make. Simply pathetic, the both of you. Simply... Both of you, back away from her slowly. What's got your panties in a twist all of a sudden? Meow! The corners of Rabbit Person's mouth just went up by 45 degrees! 
Madam Rachel is about to wake up. Now? Why now? Are you serious? When she grins and repeats the word pathetic over and over, the end is nigh. You phrasing it like that isn't calming me down any. If she and Tao were nap buddies, Tao would nap way over here. Meow. You had a long, full life, Falconhine. No regrets. Hey, you're just freaking us out over nothing. The rabbit wakes up. So what? Huh. You've no idea what Milady is like when she first awakens. If only you knew. Uh, fair enough. What's she like then? You mean to say you've never heard the legend of the sleeping, crimson-eyed pigtails? Yikes! The sleeping, crimson-eyed pigtails? Nope. But I'm guessing Tao has. Of course Tao has! When you snooze as much as we do in Kaka Village, you hear about all the biggies. I only sleep a few hours a night, and I keep one eye open, so yeah. No idea. You should work on that, good guy. Chronic fatigue can stunt your growth and affect your cognitive thinking. Oh, uh, meow. Yeah, duly noted. So, this sleeping blah blah pigtail thing, is this the rabbit? Sure looks that way, meow. When Madam Rachel is awakened, her vision is too blurry to discern friend from foe. She strikes down anyone nearby with great vengeance and furious anger. So she's groggy and not a morning person. In sleeping crimson-eyed pigtails mode, her attacks level mountains, divide oceans, sunder the very stars. Hakomen himself pees a little at the mere mention of her. He pees? I awoke her once. It took me three days and nights to quell her fury. You're gonna make me pee! Tao just did! Meow! Behold this scar. The proof of our combat. That's just some peeling skin. Well, during the three days I spent holding Milady at bay, I had to forego my morning paraffin dip and manicure. My cuticles were a catastrophe by the time it was all over. I hardly think peeling skin conveys the width and breadth of the horror, but I suppose it's accurate enough. Just cut that shit with a nail clipper! Once she'd finally come to her senses, Madam Rachel rewarded my bravery with this. A ribbon! I don't care! Meow! Tao never thought she'd get to meet sleeping crimson-eyed pigtails in person! Hey, dog person! Do you think she'd autograph my coat? <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. Overwhelmingly, undeniably, pathetic. Um, is it just me, or did she get way chattier all of a sudden? Pathetic. Pathetic. Pathetic, 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 pathetic. Great Caesar's ghost! Now she's only saying pathetic! And that's bad why? She's entered the final countdown! She'll awaken any second now! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... He's totally jumping the shark! What's going on, Meow? Now, for my uber-verboten attack! Falkenhain R. Helsing! And S. Helsing! And T. Helsing! And U. Helsing! Wow! There's a whole bunch of dog people now! Is this? I don't even... Wait. I really don't want to know. 
Madam Rachel, look at me! Uh, us. Oh. I'm inclined to lay groggy waste to all humanity. But I suppose it can wait. What are you up to, Valkenheim? Hey! The rabbit person's watching the dog people! Meow! Now, my lady, if you'll direct your eyes yonder... I see one butler. <laughs> Two butlers. <laughs> Three butlers. <gasps> she's... She's counting them like sheep. Four butlers. <laughs> Five butlers. Just like that. Whew. We only had one shot at that, so I'm glad we made it count. If you'd be so kind as to carry her on your back, we can take care of our errands before she awakens again. Huh? Uh, okay. Come on, Tao, let's boogie. Where is Madame Rachel? Drooling down my back, remember? Every fiber of my being screams in protest, but I'm afraid I must entrust Milady to your care. If I'm such a hot mess, why don't you carry little Miss Undead Weight? Ew. Where are we? This is an Alucard family secret passed down over the centuries. A place whose existence is only known to butlers in their employ. We call it the Valley of Death. Oh, so you answer her questions but not mine. Yeah, real nice. It looks really deep. That is an understatement, my young feline. Deep and deadly as well. No one alive has entered this ravine and emerged to tell the tale. Well, excepting myself. Hey! How'd you get to be an old man jumping into things with death in the damn name? I'm running errands, like I said. Keep being an adequate surface for my lady to slumber upon. Running errands? The hell kind of errands can you knock out in the friggin' Valley of Death? <laughs> my name is Valkenhain R. Helsing. That? That's not an answer. Tao, here's beasties down there. Meow. If I do not return, Tell Madam Rachel I perished for the greater glory of House Alucard! Geezer's got a death wish! Look at all those beasties! Tao can't even count that high! Is there a reason you're fighting all those, or is that just your idea of fun? Whoa! Old man's got some moves. Poor beasties. They were just hungry. Enough with the snoring, rabbit. Wake the hell up already! You're always bitching and moaning about how bored you are, and you're missing the fight of the goddamn century! Oh, 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 good guy, look! Meow! Dog person's about to use his finishing move! Duria!
Oh, my freaking ears! <laughs> it's making Tails' tail tingle! Meow! <laughs> the F is he doing down there? Ding? Ring a ding ding! I've heard that sound before. Was that a microwave? <sighs> I do apologize for the wait. You're gonna be okay? Please don't worry. I merely encountered some occupational hazards. What's important is that I've completed my errand. Shall we go? Completed your errand? Hey! What's that you're holding? Tao can smell something scrumptious under all that blood. Oh, oh, what is it, huh? Scones. You're kidding. These, oh callous youth, are the scones that shall accompany Madame Rachel's tea tonight. You're not kidding. Oh, so that ding we heard before was you making them all nice and toasty, right? Please, just tell me there's not actually a microwave down there. Why do you? Object to my errand? They're not even super hot! You went through all that to toast them only a bit? They smell delicious! Twenty seconds at precisely 600 watts. And nothing so philistine as plastic wrap. I don't want the recipe! Just do that shit at home! That whole big ass castle you guys got, and you don't have a single damn microwave? Of course we have a microwave, we're not savages. But this particular microwave is a credit to its species. I whip up the scones at home. Already they're far superior to anything you'll ever eat. However, if I let them cool down a bit and then reheat them in the valley of death, they become just heavenly or infernal, depending on your preferences. If dog person weren't so nice, Tal would slap those tasties and damn the taquitos! Torpedoes. Oh. Hmm. It's been exactly 11 hours and 30 minutes since Milady's last tea time, which means she'll be waking up at any moment now. To the castle! This scent is perfect. Just the thing to usher one back into consciousness. It's the tea from Orient Town. The rare one, I believe. Right you are, madam. This scone <gasps> is a bit oppressive to the teeth. A thousand pardons, my lady. I shall dispose of them forthwith. God damn it, rabbit! He went through hell and back to get you those scones! And you're bitching because they're a little hot? Come on, man! Tell her how much shit you went through to get her little snackies! Son of a bitch! A man who never stops talking truly has nothing to say. Wouldn't you agree, Valkenhayn? Emphatically, Madam Rachel.